How are the Admirals doing? They lost to Iowa in game one, seven nothing. Damn it! Preds lose two one in overtime of game six to the Dallas Stars, thus losing the series four games to two. Listen, I'm not gonna rehash this game. You know the score, you know what happened. It was devastating to the fans who followed this team this year, the core of this team the last couple years, and to the loyal fans who've been here from the start, no matter where you're located, in Nashville, in Europe, or me up here in Vancouver. Let us talk about this team moving forward. With the players on the roster this season and a caliber that they have, I never thought I'd see such a woeful power play. In this game six, another offer. No better example than in game six, in the last two minutes of regulation, and you get another power play, and you can't put the stars away. Barely anything from the Jofa line this round. Not good enough. Arvidsson, no points this round. Not good enough. Heck, even the second line was contributing with one goal from each player on it. The best player this round was Ronco Grimaldi. Bar none. Poyle, pay the man this offseason and keep him in the fold. The next best player on this roster this round was Pekka Rinning. I don't want to see any heat on him like I did last season after Winnipeg. This loss is not on him. Other than those two, the Jofa line, because of their firepower, the rest of the roster is fair game for discussion this offseason. Poyle stays. I'm not anywhere close to being ready to fire him at this point. Lavi too, but he is on a very short leash next season. Listen, Preds fans, Peter Laviolette is under contract to be the Nashville Predators head coach until the conclusion of the 2020-2021 season. And you can be damn sure that ownership is not going to want to pay for two head coaches of this team. His assistants, on the other hand, are another matter entirely. One or both of them need to be gone by the start of training camp in September to show fans progress and that management of this organization means business. You can't come back in the fall with both McCarthy and Muse. I'm sorry, you just can't. I know from what I've seen from the fan base on social media last night and this morning talking to a few close friends of mine who I've made through the fan base of the Preds that they more than happily welcome back Phil Housley into the fold. The man is going to want to prove himself that Buffalo was just a one-off with his two-year stint there. What a great way to try and get another head coaching job down the road than returning back to Nashville and improving the team's lackluster special teams. Considering off-season moves this summer, Wayne Simmons won't be back, and McLeod certainly will not be back. Maybe Brian Boyle will re-up for one more season and help the Preds keep that depth that he did help them with on the third line when he was in the lineup. Along with Ronco getting paid, Colton Sissons is a restricted free agent this summer, so he's in for a pay raise. And Captain Roman Yossi is one season away from being an unrestricted free agent, so you know he's going to be due for a long-term extension. I never thought it would come to this, but for some new blood in this roster next season, I would consider trading one of the top four defensemen off this roster. It would allow Favreau to take their place, and perhaps this team should consider trading Kyle Turris. I have given that man more than enough time to show me something, and he has not. You probably have to take less in return, but if it gets him off the books, do it, Poyle. There is a long off season ahead, since this is the first time in four years that the Preds season comes to an end in April. Get healthy, fix the coaching staff, tweak the roster a little bit. There's no need for a major overhaul yet, and come back stronger than ever in the fall. That's what I would do if I was in charge. I hope you guys have enjoyed these PFRs. I would have hoped I could have done them longer this spring, but alas, the end of the Pred season. Let me know in the comments below and through feedback on Twitter how you think I did with these PFRs, and I will consider doing them again next season, perhaps even during the regular season.
So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Canuck for Liberty and I'll talk to you next time.